Hello there, and welcome to this advanced tutorial for the Live Face app feature with Crazy Talk Animator 3.3. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you basically how to do facial mapping and custom, custom character feature adjustment through sprite changes and also freeform deforma deformation, I'm sorry, or FFD, what we call. So I'm here inside Crazy Talk Animator 3.3, and the first thing I need to do is choose a character. Um, so I'm going to go into my actor tab in the content manager, uh, choose one of the human characters, and I'm going to work with Ted here, Ted facing front. Now this is one of the traditional characters that we've had in Crazy Talk Animator for a while. And uh, I'm going to make sure that my live face app is working properly and it's connected with my Crazy Talk Animator. So after selecting my character, I'm going to go to facial mocap and I'm going to open the panel. And then I'm going to connect. Oh, it's connected already. Nice. I can see it up here. So if I click on preview, you'll see that I can I can control Ted. Okay. And I've got the eyes, I got the mouth and everything else. So in the previous tutorial, um, I showed you how you can open the, uh, the strength adjustment. This is done in the upper right side of the facial mocap panel. And inside we have the strength, the strength settings. We have uh, strength settings for global. I can increase that like that. Or I can choose specific features, for example, brow. So if I move my, out, my brows up and I hold them, and then I move the slider, you'll see that I can influence those features there too. All right, the same for eyelids. Uh, not much, all right. So there's a limit to how much I can influence that specific sprite. The reason being, imagine this, right? This is my eye, and I have this into 100%. Well, I can't go more than that. Um, I've, I've got this the highest value possible because my sprite has a set shape or a set size. So what do I do? I can actually go into the back scene and I could work with some of the, the original sprites and I can really deform them to give you a higher value. So I'm going to close the strength settings here. I'm going to open this part here, expression mapping. All right. Now inside, I could go and I could see individually all these other sprites that we're controlling inside. So I can go to I white right, for example, and I can hide all these values. Okay. And you'll see that the maximum value that we have for the I enlarge right is at 100%, 101. So even if I open my eyes and I go to 200, I'm not really influencing that that much. The reason being, again, is because my sprite is already tweaked or already assigned to this value of 100 or 200 at its maximum size. But we can change that. So let me close this part here, expression mapping. I'm going to close the facial mocap panel. And inside Crazy Talk Animator, make sure that I have my character selected. I'm going to go into the left side toolbar for the composer mode. Okay. And inside the composer mode, I am going to select, let's say, my character's face, and I'm going to go to the left side here for the facial animation setup. Now, what is this? This is basically what's going to govern the range of motion for that specific um, sprite. So, for example, I can choose the eyebrow left, eyebrow right. I can also choose my eyeballs here, and you can see that the pupil that's the value, the, the, the extreme value that's going to move towards the right. And then we have the extreme value towards the left. All right. So I wish to work with the eyelids. Okay. The eyelids are right here. We have the one for the right eye and the left eye. So for the eyelids, we have expressions for eye squinting, eye enlarge, eye angry. Okay. Like that. And we also have the one for cheek raise. So like when you smile or you laugh, you have that cheek raise. So in this example, what I want to do is that I want to increase the value of my eyeball white. And I'm going to go in here, facial animation setup. I'm going to choose eye enlarge right. And I could basically choose a deform. And I can manually go in and stretch that morph for my eye. Check that out. Now that's pretty cool. So you can imagine that you have absolute freedom 
to tell Crazy Talk Animator, hey, I want you to even go in. Th- I want to go in there and I want to stretch, literally stretch that uh, sprite to wherever I want it. So as soon as I did this, I can just close the panel. This will go back to normal. And if I return to stage and I want to continue with my animation with Ted here, I'm going to open the facial mocap panel. Okay, we're connected. Check this out. As soon as I open my eye, aha, look at that. See how I influence that sprite, right? Because we deform that sprite. All right. Now that's pretty cool. Now you see how you could tweak this around. And obviously you can always go into the expression mapping um, and you can play around with different controls for different eye parts and whatnot. But you know how to do this basically in the composer mode. Now, what if I wish to, let's say, change the sprite? Um, I, I don't just want to deform the sprite, but I actually want to switch it around. Let's say I, I created a new mouth sprite for Ted, and I want to be able to animate that with the Live Face app. And I want that new sprite to be changed inside. So it's fairly simple. Let me stop the, the, the facial mocap here, and I'm going to go back into the composer mode. So here in the composer mode, what I want to do is that I want to replace my sprite. So I'm going to go into the sprite editor here. And as soon as I click this open, you'll see that we have my sprite for my face. But that's not what I want. I want the sprite for the eyes. So let me, I'm sorry, I want the sprout for the mouth. There we go. So you need to make sure you select the correct sprite part, in this case, the mouth. And after I open the sprite editor, I could see all those different sprites that are governing my animation. All right. So let's say I want to replace the sprite for smile open and show teeth. I already took my time and I drew this in Photoshop or Illustrator, or whatever, and I want to replace it. So it's actually very simple. All I have to do is click on this, uh, this uh, option here. It says replace current sprite, the one for smile open. All right. So I'm going to replace that sprite. And I'm going to go into my desktop here on my Mac, and I'm going to replace that with Smile Open. And you'll see that's actually a pretty nice uh, mouth. I've got sort of like a teethy good thing going there. I can see part of my tongue and that throat in the background. So I'm going to open that. Boom. And I now replaced that mouth. All right. What about the other one, the show teeth? Originally, this is the sprite, right? But I see no teeth in there. So we went inside, I have my sprite. In this case, it's just a PNG, a PNG file. Show teeth, I'll open that, and we just replaced it. Nice. I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna send Ted back to stage. And you guessed it, we're gonna go back into our facial mocap. We're gonna test this out. Oh, look at that. Urgh. He's got teeth, and he's got a tongue. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now that's pretty cool. But notice something. I could, if I open my mouth and I play around with it, you'll see that the, the, the sprite is, is deforming and it doesn't look that smooth. So, you know, I can actually fix this. We have a really cool feature inside where I can increase the density along the wireframe of my sprite. You might be thinking, what is he talking about? All right, I'll show you right now. I'm going to stop this. And we're going to go back, back into composer mode. All right. Select that sprite here. And then I'm going to go into the bone editor on the left hand to uh, toolbar of the composer mode bone editor. All right. Make sure you have that sprite selected. Oh, hold up, hold up. Okay. The mouth, that's the one I want to influence. And I'm going to click on show wireframe. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if you could see this, but I might be able to zoom in. There we go. And you're going to see the, the, the wireframe density here. Now, I can make this look smoother by simply dragging on the slider for density, putting it all the way up. Okay. And you'll see that we have a lot more wireframes. It's like we're cre creating subdivisions for my, 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 my sprite there. So I'm going to increase the density, close the bone editor. And then when I go back into stage and I animate this guy, you'll notice 
that now when I smile, it looks smoother. Look at that. Now that's a beautiful smile. All right. So there you go. Um, this is an advanced tutorial. There's three things we learned. One, um, how could you adjust the settings to increase the value for your animations? This is done simply by, you can deform the sprite manually. Number two, you can also go in and replace a sprite. If you have another sprite, something new that you've done, you can do that too. And third, if you want to make your animations look smoother, simply go in, check on the wireframe, and then increase the density. All right, so that's it for this advanced tutorial. We're going to have a few other ones coming up, so stick around. Thanks again.